All right, guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a, making a table. Um, this is the table that's going to sit outside the, uh, the, H2, the, the aquaponics pond. I got the pond. We saw that in the last, last video, and now I'm going to make this table. Um, it's going to be, it's, I had it at three foot. It's actually going to be two foot because my cinder blocks only ended up being 16 inches. So it'll be a little lower to the ground. That'll be fine. But, and I spared you guys watching me cut the, everything done, but I am going to show you, hopefully here, my new nail gun. I ended up getting a pass load compact 30 degree nailer and I think that that's going to really make this job go pretty fast. So I'm just going to set the camera up where you can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to put this thing together lickety split. Cool beans. You get to learn as I get to learn. So for some reason, I'm hitting a double nail pretty frequently. And I don't know if that's to be expected or some technique I'm not doing right, but you live and you learn. Maybe we'll try holding the trigger in. No, nope, it does the same thing. And I know what it is. It's on bump fire, but. You just gotta balance with it. Maybe if I flip it over and lay it on the ground, it might make it a little easier, huh? Okay, so there's my table for now. Yeah, all right, shore those legs up. Um, we're gonna have to put something across the legs on the bottom to really tie them together and get it a little more sturdy. But other than that, I, I, I still have a little two by four or two left, so I can I can cut those and I'll do that. The last part I have to do is put this top on it. I got some of this plastic uh, like shower backing. And that's going to go on the top of it, so the water will run off. But I'm going to go get this in place, and then we'll deal with the we'll deal with everything else as it comes. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching that part. I don't know if I have another video or not, but we'll see. So I did not get as much done today as I wanted to. I did get my table pretty much constructed. I've got the this plastic top on it, um, which should shed water pretty well. What I don't have on it is the drainage collector. So I mean, there's a PVC pipe out behind the that I'm going to cut, and uh, it will go along the back wherever the water drips. So just to explain, uh, this is a is a grow bag, and it's made out of sort of like a felt material. So water will go into it and drain out of it, um, and it'll when the when the roots get out to the outside surface, they'll dry up and they'll actually signal more root growth. So I'm looking forward to using this bag this season. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've got a, a mixture of vermiculite and perlite, about 50-50 in the bag. And I'll be planting a, um, a pepper plant in this, in this one. But wa water will drain out the back and there'll be a PVC pipe to collect it. And then, that'll, then the water will come across here and into the pond. So there's not much of a slope, but we'll we'll, we'll work it out. Um, 
if I raise it up a little bit, I'll do that. But overall, I should be able to get the water to where it needs to go. It'll drain into the pond. Right now, this is a little sand filter I rigged up, but it didn't do anything. Uh, it's not really keeping the pond filtered, but more work to do tomorrow. Thanks again for coming along for the ride. I'm Dark Strider. I'm signing off, and uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.